Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the Air Hogs Hyper Stunt Drone. Uh, it says unstoppable micro drone, crash and keep going, easy stunt button, crash resistant frame, rolls on walls and ceiling. Well, as you can see here, it's just a normal uh, nano quad, but then the unique thing that makes it unstoppable and all that is that it has these wheels which sort of also act like a protective frame and then when you crash it always is going to end up um, the quad you know can rotate in there and it self writes uh, so you've got this little clip here that clips on the body so I'll go ahead and clip that on so you can see what it looks like without the wheels and now with the wheels and the uh, the little frame here clips into this hole on the side of the body if you can see that there It's a little bit tricky. It doesn't quite reach so you have to sort of Force it into place and you can hear it snap in so you kind of push down uh, Get in there uh, It's kind of awkward to get it there we go there it snapped into place So yeah, once it kind of snaps in and locks into that hole now it's on there good and tight so as you can see, it you know it, it kind of works like a protective frame and bounces around, and then the quad it does sometimes land on the side like that, but the quad can't stay upside down. It always ends up flipping right side up, and then you can use that to drive around on the ground if you want, or drive up walls or along the ceiling. Um, as you can see, it is pretty bouncy though. It kind of works more as a crash resistant frame it's kind of hard to like fly up to a wall and stick to the wall or the ceiling because it tends to bounce off uh, so it's pretty tricky to get it to actually drive on the walls or ceiling because it just always ends up springing off of them but if you're nice and smooth on the controls or just kind of roll up to the wall and then start climbing up it you can uh, drive along the walls and stuff let's see if i can get it to stay in place on my table here while I move on to other things. So this is our transmitter here, which is a you know pretty small, convenient, easy to carry transmitter, matches the size of the quad well. Um, you know, pretty standard, not really much to it. We've got two rates here with the one and two buttons. So, you know, two is gonna be a little bit faster. Uh, the yaw rate does change, but just barely, and it's a little bit on the slow side. So I mean, for what they call hyper stun, I feel like it turns a little bit slow. It it's, can feel a little bit sluggish. Um, it can do flips by, you hold this button here on the top left corner, you press and hold that, and then move the right stick in whatever direction you want to flip. Uh, it can flip with the wheels on, but it you know with the extra weight, it can get a little bit uh, squirrely after a flip. It can kind of want to get out of control or you know lose a lot of height because of the extra weight. Uh, so it definitely flips better without the wheels, uh, but it can do it with the wheels as well. Uh, let's see. Um, it does come with a full set of spare props, and we've got a little USB charging cable here. So you plug that in the quad, and uh, plug this into USB first, then plug that in the quad. Uh, you cannot charge off the transmitter. Um, it has a 140 milliamp hour internal battery, so a pretty big battery for a nano quad, but there's no access to it, so you can't swap it out or anything. Uh, it takes about 40 minutes to charge. Uh, with the wheels on, you get about 3 minute and 25 second long flights with a 1 minute and 25 second LVC warning. So a really long LVC warning um, and about 4 minute and 50 second long flights total. Without the wheels on, you get 4 minutes and 15 seconds, uh, again with a 1 minute and 25 second LVC warning, so about 5 minutes and 40 seconds without the wheels on. Uh, let's put that over there so it doesn't roll away. You can recalibrate it by holding both sticks down right, so put both in the down right corner and that'll recalibrate the accelerometer. I would suggest doing that without the wheels on so that you can make sure the quad is sitting on a nice level surface. Um, let's see, anything else to say? Oh yeah, and one other thing I notice sometimes is that the, uh, the props are really close to this frame here. You can see they're just barely missing it. Um, so sometimes if you don't have the frame quite perfectly centered, 
the props can hit it. So if you hear, if you hear like clicking while you're flying, the props may be hitting into this. So you can kind of, you know, just sort of adjust it a little bit, slide it around and make sure that it's, it's nice and perfectly centered there. And then the prop should clear it. Um, but I only had that happen a couple times. Uh, but yeah, I think that looks like that covers all the details. Let me check my notes one more time. Uh, yep, that does it. So let's go take it for a flight. All right, this is the flight review of the Airhog's Hyper Stunt Drone. It's a little nano quad with the wheels on it. And I figure with the, uh, since the wheels are kind of the main feature, I'll just go ahead and fly it with the wheels on. But you can take those off and fly it just like a normal nano quad. And it has two rates, which are one and two buttons there. And then we have a stunt button for flip. So you just press and hold that and then move the right stick in whatever direction you want to flip. And it does flip in all directions with the wheels on as well. Um, and with those wheels, you know, you can roll on the ground or up the walls and along the ceiling. But the, the wheels are kind of springy. So it tends to bounce off of things. It's hard to get it to stick to the walls or ceiling. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just give it a spin first. And let's put it on high rates. And there's our yaw rate, even on high rates. It's pretty slow. The yaw rate does change, so it gets even slower with low rates. But yeah, I feel it's a little slow on the yaw, especially considering, you know, they call it hyper stunt. So let's do some flips. I'll do some forward and backwards with the wheels there. So that's, that's the easier flip because then it doesn't have to move the wheels. And it, the nice thing about these wheels is it does always recover. Um, however, it can get it a little tricky to get it flying again. There we go. You gotta let it kind of level out before you take off. So now let's do some left and right flips over the wheels. Oops. There we go. So yeah, it, gets, it can do them, but it gets a little a little sloppy after that because it's rolling those wheels over so that's quite hard for it to recover from it's really better to just flip forward and backwards when you've got the wheels on and then leave the left and right flips for when you don't have the wheels on i'll see if i can get it to stuck stick to the ceiling but it's it's really hard because it bounces off you've got a man even just super slowly approaching the ceiling it wants to bounce off. Come on. Come on, do it. Oh, man. Yeah, man, it is super hard to... Let me just <laughs> stick it to the ceiling. Man, even then it wants to unstick itself. Just kind of bounce along. Oops. <laughs> Basket. Yeah, it looks like I've got LVC going already, but let's just kind of drive it around on the ground a little bit then. But yeah, the wheels are so bouncy, it just doesn't really like to stick to the walls or ceiling. That's pretty cool, driving around on the ground. Alright, let's see if I can take it in for a landing before the battery dies probably not going to really be able to land it with these wheels. It's just going to bounce and roll off. Whoa! Man, I almost had it. Let's try that again. Oh, it's full throttle. My battery's about dead. Oh, oh! That's, that's good enough. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever really get it to stay on there. Probably, oh, that actually did. So yeah, pretty cool. It's a, you know, it's a good beginner model because it's so well protected with those wheels and it always lands right side up. Sometimes it can land on a wheel like that and get stuck, but you may actually be able to kind of fly it around a little bit and get it unstuck. But So yeah, I mean, not only does it, you know, work well for driving on things with those wheels, but it works well as a protective cage and self writing so you don't have to go pick it up every time you crash. So pretty cool. Anyway, check the video description for a price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.